Yeah. All right. Well, Terry writes in. He says, I have a 2017 iMac that's starting to show some age. I'm looking at a Mac Mini to replace it, and I'm thinking of using the Luna display to repurpose the iMac as a monitor. What is your feeling about Apple's base gig, uh, 8 gig unified RAM? An M2 Mini with base 8 gig RAM or a jump to the 16 gigs? The Mini would be used for photo editing. So how good is unified RAM? Is Apple still shortchanging us on RAM, or is the 8 gig unified equal to the old 16 gigs? Signed. Terry and that I, that nicely dovetails from the last question. It does. Actually, I think. It's a, yeah. yeah, I didn't quite realize how well these two paired together. Um, so we know what unified memory is. We know that it's efficient. We've we've already established that. Uh, Terry, I know that we are the right people to ask questions exactly like this. I am also exactly the wrong person to ask because I can't bring myself to order any Mac with the base eight gigs of Ram. However, I know many people that have and do things like, you know, moderate photo editing and it's fine. So I think for some purposes and some people, and it might even be the majority currently eight gigs is enough. However, I like to run my Macs for long periods of time. RAM can no longer be upgraded on Macs. We know that. And so I always order with at least my my M series Macs, my Apple Silicon Macs. I've always ordered with at least 16 gigs. And if I was ordering one today, that would be my my floor would be 16 gigs of RAM. The the one here in the studio, it's a Mac Studio, so it's got 32 because that's the min, this is the minimum configuration you could ever have gotten with a Mac Studio. Um, my m2 air that i had to buy last summer because of the lightning storms that came with 24 and so obviously it's fine like great 24 gigs but like in the stu in my office which is the machine that i use most is my currently least powerful mac it is an og m1 mini from 2020 with 16 gigs of ram and i don't notice any ram starvation style issues so that's my answer, and I know it's a non-answer. What do you what do you what do you think, Adam? Like, would you buy an eight gig Mac? I totally would. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. There you go. In a, in a heartbeat, I I have a eight gig M1 for work, and I've had that for a few years now. I think it's a fourteen inch, um, and it's great. I've never had any issues with it. My wife has an M1 Air with eight gigs. Um, it really comes down to many of those things that you're talking about, right? Like, what are your use cases? Like, he says photo editing. How heavy photo editing? Are we talking about, like, pro level? Like, if you're a professional photographer and that's your bread and butter and it's your money and how you make a living and it's really important to you and you're dealing with massive files and doing a lot with Photoshop or something, yeah, and then get the extra RAM. Like, I would, I would go for it. But, like, if you're just a hobbyist and you're editing photos and you know here and there and doing some light work and stuff like that i think eight gigs is going to be totally totally fine um i'd almost rather at this point spend the extra money on additional storage because i don't like having to attach a bunch of external things if i don't have to so you know it's a little give give and take but like I've never noticed memory issues on my work computer and I'm doing, you know, web development and programming and not real heavy stuff though. So, you know, if I, if I had higher needs, if I was doing video editing, you know, those sorts of things, I probably would go with more RAM definitely for future proofing. So if you're the type of person like I'm going to have this machine and it sounds like maybe he is, he's got a 2017. That's the other thing though. Part of that question was, is, is eight the new 16? And in his world, coming from a 2017 iMac, the answer to that question is yes, it absolutely is. It's going to yeah. be 16 gigs from 2017 is going to be the eight gigs now is going to be better than that. You know, the unified memory, like it's going to be actually better than the 16 from 2017. Yes. But, you know, again, that said, I'd go up if you have higher needs or again, if you're looking for future proofing, you know, more is always better and it'll have better resale value. 